It's very twitchy. Uh, oh. 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 Hey everyone, hope you're all doing okay, and if you're new here, thanks for joining us. Welcome back to F1 2020 and episode 3. So we've got 9 days until the next Grand Prix, so we're going to do a sponsored advertisement, a funded team event, and a driver promotion filming, which will give us some R&D and a claim bonus. So I've just paused the advancement of time as we have completed the R&D for the engine component, I believe. So the spark plugs have now been completed, so we can go ahead and develop another part of the engine, which I think will do the major one because that will help engine power. So let's do that. So that engine part's going to take a little while to come. It says Thursday the 23rd of April, and that's if it doesn't fail. I'm not sure how many Grand Prix away that is, so we'll have to just play that by ear. Okay, so before we go to Vietnam, I've just realized we've got 1.88 million dollars. So I kind of feel like we should try and spend some of those before we go. So I think we're going to spend 1.5 million on the build time with the durability factory. Okay, so that's going to happen on the 7th of April. Where are we now? The 2nd. Okay, so that'll be after this Grand Prix. Okay, let's go to Hanoi. Okay, so I have never driven this track at all, as it's a new addition to this, this year's F1 circuit, and obviously F1 game. Uh, so this is going to be very interesting. Cue lots of skid marks. Okay, so far... Oh dear. Oh, uh, I got it wrong again. Oh, this is a well long straight. This is ridiculous. Oh, that's the end. Is the car giving you some trouble out there? Don't be afraid to come in and tweak the setup if you need to, and we can chuck on a fresh set of tyres if they're getting worn. Yes, thank you, Jeffrey. Oh, that's tight. Approaching the DRS zone. What is this? This is mental. Oh, poo. It's pretty much all the corners then, Jeff. God, he takes the mix sometimes. What? How am I supposed to get that angle? Oh dear, spun again. We didn't actually pass it, Jeff. I don't understand how you get that angle in that first corner. If you hit the limit a line too fast, you'll pick up a penalty. Oh dear, What's thanks for Cardo. Oh poo. Oh Dear me, that was tricky. Well, that was a very difficult first practice. Somehow we're quicker than a Lacey, um, but I still feel like we've got a lot of pace to get anywhere near the rest of the field, basically. Oh, come on, yeah, there is one driver, Esteban Ockham, man. Why can't I have a rivalry with him? Uh, Raikkonen was quite quick in Australia. Yeah, let's go with Geo. You left a lot of paint on the wall today. Were you struggling for grip or did you just misjudge some corners? Um, I've never driven this track before, so I'm surprised it didn't end in the barriers more. Appreciate your time. So if you're really struggling to learn a new track or any track, uh, a great thing to do actually is during practice watch another driver. Preferably your teammate, because if you watch one of the top cars, their braking points and their gears going into corners are going to be totally different to yours. So if you watch a teammate, you can see what sort of gear he's in. So at the moment, alacy has gone down to gear one, he's in two, and you can see when he gets on the power and all of that. So it's quite useful. So that's a top tip from Jumbo. 
Practice two was quite similar, still just trying to get used to the track, trying to do some of the programs where we could, but some of them we didn't do very well in. At the end of the practice, we are currently 14th, just ahead of our teammate at Lacey. Pace-wise, it looks like we're there, there about, hopefully, but I've got no idea what it's going to be like in quality or the race. Okay, so here we are in quality. To make matters worse, it is absolutely pouring it down for qualifying, so I've got no idea how this is going to go. Alright, here we go. I say here we go, we go very gingerly. Oh dear, this is going to go so bad. I'm really worried about this last sector. Sorry I haven't been talking much through this, I am concentrating so much. It's very twitchy. Uh, oh. 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 Right. So here's another look. Yep, just understeered in, smacked the wall, and then smacked into Vettel as well. Fantastic. Right, so we are some way off. We are about two seconds behind the Williams, which is not good. Right, so let's go for a second lap now and see if it's any better. I'm going to go with no. At least Esteban Ocon isn't in the way this time. Well, at least I hope not anyway. Right, down to gear two for the first corner. And then you kind of want to turn in, it's just not turning in though. Get up to three, hopefully up to four, then back down to three. Yeah, it's just not turning in, no. Let's keep it in three. Yes, thank you, Jeff. You just interrupted my commentary there. Just before the 100 meter mark, down to second gear, if you can get it down. Hold it in second gear the whole way around here. Don't get on the power too early, it goes on forever. Now on the power. Gingerly though. And then you've got the world's longest straight, it feels like. You know, you can have a cup of tea down here. Maybe a chocky bicky as well. Break 100 meter board, go down to gear one. Very twitchy. Get the power down eventually. Just after the 100 meter board here, on that curb pretty much down to gear two. Hopefully not locking up like me. Ugh. This bit is normally really gingerly going through. You can normally do this in about gear six, but I can't at the moment. Then this bit will gear, gear five normally, down to gear four in the rain. Following this round in gear four again. Oh, it's just no grip at all. Keep it in gear four here normally. And then down to gear two for the last corner, but it doesn't want to turn in. Down to gear one. And then keep it in gear four as you go over the line. Oh. Right, so that's a lap. <laughs> sort of. What is going on with the mechanics and the wheels? God, that poor guy would have had his brain shaken out. Oh, hang on a minute. Why are they all on intermediates? Ah, oh, that's not on. So I was going around in the wet because Jeff told me it was wet, and all everyone else has gone around on intermediates. Probably going about two seconds quicker. I still think I probably would have come last, but even so, like, at least it would have been fair game. Right, so we're last, and Lacey is 19th for skid marks. 
So we might as well get a new engine and every component of the engine as although it'll give us like a crazy penalty whereas we're at the back of the grid anyway so it really doesn't matter. So basically you just get a free engine. I guess starting last has its perks. Welcome along to the Vietnamese capital of Hanoi, a vibrant city built on the banks of the magnificent Red River. Today it's the backdrop for the latest round of the Formula One World Championship with a circuit specifically designed to encourage overtaking opportunities. I think we could be in for a cracking race today. A lap of Hanoi circuit then, 3.4 miles around the Vietnamese capital. A number of the 23 corners take their inspiration from other great circuits, hopefully creating plenty of passing opportunities. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre uh, There's no one in the car. Overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid. But from the moment oh, right, okay. Over, he was out of the car. The Silly jumbo. Build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday puts him on pole and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Vettel, Alexander Albon and Verstappen, Ricardo, Norris, Sainz and Esteban Ocon, Fiat, Stroll, Sergio Perez and Grosjean, Giovinazzi, Gasly, Kimi Raikkonen and Kevin Magnussen, Alessi, Latifi, Russell and Wang. It's almost 192 plays penalty. Then let's see who can prevail today. Right, so we're at the very back of the grid with a brand new engine. So let's see if we can make up some places. We'll do what we normally do, we'll start on the medium tyre and end up on the soft tyre towards the end of the race. Other than that, I think we're good to go. I'm not very confident about this, but, you know, we'll see. And we're away. Oh, that's we've got a good start. We got an awful start. Oh yes, yeah. send that big boy up there. Oh, with our rival Geo. Oh no, we lost the back end. Uh. Oh, Russell's had a great start. Oh, they're all coming for me. Ah, I've shut Magnuson off. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, we're going to be a sitting duck now. Come on, Alacy, follow me through. Come on, Gasly, if you dare. If you dare. Trying to go around the outside of Russell. Can we do it? Don't have the traction. Get, get in there, car, come on. Who's going in? Raikkonen, and he's almost got damage. <sighs> okay, so Lacey's just behind us. What are we doing so far? Come on, I don't really want to let you go past, or I'll let you go past, I'll follow you through. Oh, don't lock it up, I'll just let you go through, come on, you're a letdown for the team. Well, I know you're not, because we are called skid marks. Living up to the team name, more like. Right, so we're in 18th. Oh, needs to be paying more attention than that. Oh, Lacey just ahead. And Russell, we should be able to get Russell. He's in a Williams. Oh, slide him, slide, slide there with the back. Ow, on 
earth is he going that quick through there? He's in the same skid marks for a bit, isn't he? Right, okay, so we've got a nice little lead now. I say lead. We're not too far behind a lacy, and we seem to be pulling away from the other ones behind us, but I think they've all pitted for damage. Virtual safety car. Okay. Oh, caution, caution. he's had a the big one. So on board Giovinazzi here, let's see what happens. Coming up to behind a Haas. Oh, he's just dropped it. He has absolutely dropped it. That's going to be a safety car, surely. So here's another angle. Yeah, he's just totally dropped that. Obviously buckled under the pressure of being Jumbo's rival. There he is. There I am. Is this seriously not a safety car? Because that would be in real life, surely. It's a street circuit. Box this lap. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Yep, so we're going to pit under the VSC and put on the hard tyres and see if we can gain any positions. Go, go, go. Well done, boys and girls. Okay, you only have to stop once now. One stop left. No, that's our stop, Jeff. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the softs. No, Jeff. We're not being on the soft, we've done our pit stop. Jeez, what do I pay him for? I really hope this wasn't a big error coming onto the hard tyres. It might well be, but we'll see. Battery charge is high. Let's use that overtake button more. Yes, Jeff. I'll do that right now for you. Oh, Riken's coming right at me. Come on, car. Come on, car. Yeah. Right, let's see if we can get Riken and back. He's got to make it to the end on those medium tyres, though, so this might work out all right. No, Jeff. Jeez, how many times have we got to tell him? Oh, we've gone into the back of Riken and... Oh, and we've gone far too deep. Right, so all we've done is just brought Gasly to the party. Cool, he moved over later. Nicely done there. If I don't say so myself. Okay, so here we go from the outside to down the inside, glowing brakes, yeah, cleanish. We'll take it though. Uh, I'm getting absolutely destroyed now. Do we send it? Yeah, let's send it. Nah. Did not like that. Come on, come on, let's chase him down again. I think we're we're catching to Raikkonen. I think we've had a good lap so far. Yeah, we're catching him for sure. Oh no! Oh, that little touch is just oh, so annoying. thought about it. No. Oh, the one point of the track we don't want to lose the back end. So we went from um, one good lap to an awful lap. Yellow flag, who's that for? Latifi's out of the session. So what's up to Latifi? Oh, he's just going super slow, is he? Oh, he's had an engine failure big time. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Well, that's good because there's five laps of the race left. Oh, big boy drift there. 
Oh, turn in, car. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, that's not going well, is it? Uh, okay. Oh, luck on the track that's harsh. We've been given a three second penalty. Oh, oh dear. Are you all right? Sit tight, the marshals are on their way. Okay, so that looks like that's race over. Unfortunately, there we are with no front wing. Terrible under breaking, knocking all the way, living up to the skid mark's name. And then we've just understeered into the wall. Here's an onboard footage as well. Yeah. We had no chance of getting back to the pits really. So unfortunately that is that. We've had to retire from the Vietnam Grand Prix. So that has been the Vietnam Grand Prix. It wasn't particularly good from our end. Having said that though, Alacy did come 15th, which is quite good. Uh, not so great for us, down in 20th with the DNF. That track is so hard. It's really hard to get right. It's very technical. Um, I think I'd need more practice to get better at it, but it is what it is. On to the next one, I guess. So we're currently losing to Giovinazzi 3-2 to two in our rivalry. Oh, our claim went up. That's impressive. Oh, and the Lacey's up to five now. Okay, so that'll do it for this episode of F1 2020. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like. And if you'd like to see more content, don't forget to subscribe. Yes, yes, I know. I sound like every other YouTuber out there. I know I do. But it's free, it doesn't cost you anything, and it really helps out a channel just like this one. As with all my videos, if you see anything I'm doing particularly well, probably not in this episode, but if you see anything I'm doing particularly bad, probably saw quite a lot in this episode, then do let me know in the comments. Okay, that's all for me. I'll see you in the next one.